Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Lunar Ghosties here and we have made it to episode 10 of Sims in Bloom. This is the final Sims episode for Sims in Bloom Daisy Gen before Sims 4 Horse Ranch comes out and it's a big one. We have Juniper's bachelorette party and then the big wedding day so I hope you guys are excited but Juniper has unfortunately woken up a little bit tense because her friend balance is slipping from all the partying honestly though that's a mood I feel like when you have big events like this happen all these people reappear in your life where they appear for the first time and it can be very overwhelming so she's feeling a little bit tense and she had a little bit of a sleep in which I think is fine Duncan's still having a bit of a sleep in she's gonna go take care of her needs and then we're going to take care of everything else. For work today, she has to reach level six of the logic skill and research gardening, so we might end up at the recreation center. We also need to take another trip to Henford because she still has a bunch of fruits and vegetables in her inventory that she has not had a chance to sell from all of the partying that she's been doing. Duncan's doing some indoor chores, which we really, really appreciate. Thank you so much for doing some indoor chores and adding to the washing machine while Juniper handles the outside. We also, let's see, she's collecting the eggs and she should also be cleaning the coop and we'll need to scatter more feed. We have made it to Henford. She finished all of her outdoor chores for the day, so now it is time to haggle and see if we can make a profit. We have made 1,242 simoleons today, which is perfect. We're almost at 30,000 simoleons, but now that she has done that, I am going to send her home so that she can get some relaxation in before her big bachelorette party tonight with her besties. So I'll see you guys in San Myshuno. We have made it. The bachelorette party has begun. Kyle is here as are her friends from high school. She's ready to party. Kyle's ready to party. I love Kyle. <laughs> I love Kyle. He's so fun. He had to, you know, we we had to invite him to the bachelorette party. It, you, there's no way you, we couldn't, right? So let's get drinks, everybody. I love everybody's little party looks too. Like, look at how cute Abigail's party outfit is. Emerson's is definitely more formal, I would say. And they're here to have a really good time. And, ooh, why do we have to do a smooth apology? What happened? I guess we'll do a, a, an apology just in case we hurt her feelings. Actually, Juniper can we order your favorite drink start you off strong for the night since your friends went ahead and I guess order their own drinks we're getting drinks our favorites and we're gonna have a good time we're gonna catch up with our ladies thank them for coming of course Emerson wants to be best friends but Knox is our best friend is Knox gonna hate us if we because he's he's pr technically being promoted to husband but your husband can still be your best friend I feel like we're gonna upset Knox in doing this but I feel like it makes more sense for Juniper to have a different best friend. Let's do a duet, shall we? A country duet, maybe with Kyle. We'll line ourselves up for a little duet in front of everybody. We're not that many drinks in. It's karaoke contest night at the karaoke bar. Sims can test their silky singing skills by selecting sing in karaoke contest. Wait a minute. Kyle, before our duet, I know Juniper, I don't think Juniper is a singer, but like this is some kind of crazy coincidence for her bachelorette party. So Kyle, before we sing our little drunken duet, duet together. I'm gonna see. Heck yeah. She sucks. But she's having fun and that's what's important. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, we need um. We need to get in the spirit. Sing it, Juniper. I like her little, like, jazz hands. <laughs> She's having so much fun. 
This is how you have a bachelorette party. I hope she scores high on this contest. And she she only just acquired the singing skill. She scored 47 out of 100 points. So I don't I don't know that she's going to be the winner. Now that we've entered the competition and submitted our score, I guess, now it's time for us to have our duet with Kyle. Come on, Kyle. Let's knock their socks off, shall we? Our country duet. <laughs> oh, jeez. He sucks too, at least we're not alone. It's not a bachelorette party unless you're having drunken karaoke though, right? <laughs> she looks almost bored. She's gotta get more into it. I think she's too self-conscious. Come on, Juniper, you gotta loosen up to have fun. Oh, there we go. Like, look, Kyle's smiling the whole time. She's just so awkward. Yeah, the back-to-back -back is a good move. He can't even take it seriously. He's like, I can't believe we're doing this, man. But she's feeling very playful. She's having a good time. She's gonna thank Kyle for doing a duet with her. And I think it's time that we order another drink. This time I'm gonna have her do some juice on the rocks, I think. We'll share some tips with our friends. We'll do a smooth apology to Abigail. I don't know why we upset her, but I suppose we did. And we'll talk about the crazy weather just to kind of calm down a little bit. Cause I don't want her to die from like hysteria. Maybe Abigail is hurt that we chose Emerson as our best friend over her, but like Emerson asked us. So, they, you know, there's not much I can do there. They definitely need more seats at this bar. But I would say Juniper's having a little bit of a tipsy time. We have to get them dancing though. Is there, like, can we dance to the karaoke that's happening? Or we could always go somewhere else, I suppose. Cause it looks like all we can do is watch the karaoke and there's no other music playing. So let's see what's, let, what's around. All right, we have party hopped our way over to the Stargazer Lounge. This way we can have a little bit more of a party like experience. It seems like it's pretty private like we've got this rooftop to ourselves, which is pretty cool at least for now it is late maybe sims are having a little bit of a an early night for a friday night for some reason but we're gonna come over and do the little bubble fizz thing oh here we go here's more people there she goes oh 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 no not for her okay not for juniper i guess she tried it though all right are we dancing are we all dancing <gasps> we're all gathering to dance yes even agatha's joining in she's like oh it's your bachelorette party i love love. I'll join. Kyle's getting into it. You love to see it. We've also got this guy playing guitar, but I guess everybody's ignoring him for the pop music. All right, Juniper, loosen up. Have some fun. You're gonna be a married woman in a couple days. I feel like the karaoke bar was more fun for these guys, but these guys really just wanted to get some dancing in, but it, this place was definitely closing when we got here. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up the bachelorette party since it already technically wrapped up. We just came here for some extra dancing, but I think every Everybody's a little bit tired and I think this place really wants to close. So I will see you guys for the big day. It's wedding day. I'm so excited. I haven't had a sim wedding in what feels like nine million years. <laughs> so I'm really excited. Juniper is just having herself a little breakfast. Duncan already had his. He's been up for quite a while. While Duncan cleans the dishes, Juniper has a very, very important question to ask Duncan because if you look here on the good old calendar, if you look at the wedding event, there's just one little spot missing. Juniper does not have a sim of honor and that is because she has been saving this spot for her one, her only wonderful father. So she is going to hopefully get up and ask him instead of just shouting at him from across the way. Good, and she's leaving her breakfast behind. That's what I like to see. He's like, really? The Sim of Honor? You have so many friends though, Juniper, and you chose me. And Juniper, just so that you have a clear mind, clear head, clear body for later, why don't you meditate? The weather is really nice today. So I think it's a good time to meditate by your little, your little grubs. Also, while I played a little bit off camera, we 
leveled up our fishing skills. So she is now fishing level six. So that's really all you've missed. I've just been doing like a lot of skill building. We have officially reached level eight of the wellness skill as well, which means that we can now give a stone massage and recommend self-esteem exercises. She can also perform the handstand in yoga. We've almost got two of our skills maxed out completely. Wedding ceremony is about to begin. Let's go. We are here at this gorgeous lot in Hanford on Bagley. Let me just, here's the full view. It's absolutely gorgeous. It has animals and everything. Look, it's even got like wild foxes are just like chilling for the wedding ceremony. <gasps> Did we leave the cake at home? We left the wedding cake at home. <laughs> oh no, I knew we were forgetting something. Okay, I'm gonna have to have Duncan make an emergency cake, which we can do because there is a stove here. So we should be able to make an emergency cake cake and then we can just maybe like you know we can bring the wedding cake with us when we move out but we are here everybody's dressed up except for Knox um sir Knox that is that is not that that is that is not the outfit that I that, that is that is that that's not the outfit that I told you to wear are you gonna change like are you just not changed yet is that the thing why are you not wearing your tuxedo but uh okay while we while we panic about Knox not wearing his tuxedo let me just show you guys a little little tour real quick so obviously this lot has some wild foxes which is fine because Juniper loves all sorts of animals but this was the perfect place for her to get married was in Henford she's got lots of plants surrounding her there's some animals this gorgeous gorgeous little like I guess it's a lake more than a river but it like looks like a river maybe it's a pond a stream we've got a few like outdoor seating areas with some toasts chickens of course and then if you come over here this is like the honeymooner suite so you can technically like stay here or live here but this is like where Juniper and Knox would like spend the night and like this is like anybody else staying after the wedding but as I said there's like a stove and like a kitchen and everything and here is the actual place that they are going to get married i am going to hire well yeah we'll hire mateo markovic we know he's a gorgeous singer he won the karaoke contest so we will hire him as our entertainer for the day but we have a lot to do for the wedding ceremony it's like a wedding ceremony slash reception i just didn't schedule the reception okay i fixed Knox. he is now in his wedding outfit so everybody that was invited should be here i hope but we're gonna get everybody ready so I am going to see if this the wedding stuff is not broken. We'll see. We'll see. Everybody should be grouped up though for the wedding. So where where are like half our guests? I don't think everybody's shown up to our wedding. I'm gonna invite Mary to hang out because she didn't come and that's concerning. Your son is getting married. Maybe everybody's still just like arriving. Yeah, okay, here's Agnes. Ceremony activities. Okay, please take your seats. So everybody should be gathering. Kim is in place, our wonderful grocery shop owner. Everybody's sitting down though. That's good, Knox. Why are you sitting down, Knox? What's happening? Okay, I guess Juniper and Knox are just making themselves part of the crowd. That's fine. Oh, beautiful. You look, you look amazing. You look so happy to be here. You actually look like a freaking prince. All right, so Flower Pal has gone. The ceremony is about to begin. They're having like one last look with each other. Oh, stop it, stop it. Oh, oh, this is a little cursed, okay. Oh, okay, she's up, she's up. Duncan, you can go sit down. And now it is time for Kim to officially make us husband and wife. I'm so excited. Look at how cute their outfits are. Like, look at how gorgeous Juniper looks. This dress was perfect for winter, and Knox looks so handsome with his little hat. Look at them. Oh my goodness. This is a beautiful lot, too. Let's see. We're, we're a guest at the wedding. Everybody seems really excited. Everybody seems really happy. Are we exchanging the rings yet? Not quite, not quite, that's okay. Oh, okay, they're exchanging their vows. They both seem really smitten and like nervous. <laughs> it's the big day after all. There we go, here's the ring. There's Nux's ring. Oh, it's gorgeous. Good choice, Juniper. Good choice. So now it's Juniper's turn to get her ring, right, Nox? You got her a ring. Hopefully you didn't dumpster dive for it. Hopefully you, like, spent actual money on it. There we go. Here we go. Here it comes. Here's the ring. Oh, it's gorgeous, Nox. Oh, you have great taste. Okay. 
That does not look like a dumpster dive ring. And here we go. Oh my God, she dipped him. Wait, that's such a juniper move. And look at Kyle's face. Look at everybody. Agatha's crying. Sarah looks pissed. Sarah's like, why do I not have love? Even the entertainer is crying. Blossom looks really happy. Where's Duncan? Wait, Duncan, where are you? Oh no, where's Duncan? Where did Duncan go? I don't see Duncan in the crowd. Did Duncan like get upset? What's happening? Where, where did Duncan go? Oh my God, why are you showering? Why are you taking a bubble bath? Your daughter is getting married. Get your butt here right now. In fact, freaking teleport your booty. You just missed your daughter officially get married. I cannot. I cannot believe you. I mean, it's over now. It's over now. You missed your own daughter getting married. That seems like a really non-Duncan thing to do. And I hope Juniper didn't notice. I hope Juniper was too caught up in the moment. I'm guessing though that Duncan maybe let his emotions get the best of him and he had to step away because he was just, it was a lot to see his little girl get married. And this is technically their very last day together. So I maybe, you know, he's also still trying to make sure everything's good for her wedding. He was there for the vows at least. He just wasn't there for the kiss. Oh, okay. So they're officially husband and wife. Oh my God. They want to celebrate. They want to consummate the marriage. <laughs> Congratulate Knox on the marriage. Wow. You're married now. Congratulations. It is really the best day of your life. Like they say, Duncan has returned. Hopefully Juniper again did not notice. Let's gather here. I have to say the weddings is still a little glitched. Maybe we invited too many people. Maybe we invited too many people and that's why it's not going so great. But I hate that Duncan did not stay seated. This is certainly a wedding to remember. It is getting a little bit cold. So I think a lot of people are changing out of their formal wear, but we're gonna try to just gather everybody, let them know it's time to eat. Everybody's feeling a little bit hungry. We're having our after wedding meal. Nobody is sitting down. Everybody's just kind of gathered around the buffet table. Everybody's like, I want to know everybody's next move. I want to make sure that there are plenty of leftovers for me. But it looks like everybody's got a little bit of everything on their plate. And Juniper has gone ahead and gotten herself a chocolate covered strawberry. I suppose Duncan cannot make the cake. Knox has decided to change out of his outfit yet again. And to be honest, this sim god is exhausted trying to get weddings to work. I have never had a wedding go this chaotic, but you know what? It's, it's okay. They are still married. They have exchanged their vows. They've exchanged their rings. They have, they've done everything pretty much that they have needed to do. It is about 9 45 PM. So I think the wedding can be called off here. So I would say overall, it was a chaotic but successful wedding. Before it gets too dark, before it gets too dark, I wanna get some wedding photos. All right, this is a perfect just married look. So we're gonna zoom in on this one a bit. Like we just got married, woo. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to leave this part here. The next part will be with the brand new expansion pack, Horse Ranch. I cannot wait to try it out and see what's in store for Knox and Juniper now that they are officially married. And the next time you see them, they're gonna have their own place together. So if you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna give it a sympathy thumbs up too for this chaotic wedding, I would appreciate it. <laughs> Because this wedding was stressful. But thank you guys so much for sticking through it. And I hope you have been enjoying this series so far. We've had this series running for 10 episodes now. Juniper is killing it with the Daisy Gen. And I'm really excited for what's in store for these two. So feel free to hit that subscribe button to see more Juniper and Knox shenanigans in the future, especially with Sims 4 Horse Ranch. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>